Alright, today I'm going to show you how to block a floating bridge, like this one. So you don't really need too many tools, you just need some guitar picks, some tape to hold it together, and whatever screwdriver you need to take the back plate off of your tremolo guitar. So some reasons why you might want to do this is to improve tuning stability, or maybe you're just sick of having a floating tremolo, you need to take a break from that and you just want to have a fully locked down system. So this is basically going to work on all guitars with floating tremolo, so Floyd Roses, the Ibanez Edges, Low Pros, etc. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting guitar picks in between the tone block. So to get there, first you have to take off the back plate, and then route it inside, you should see some space between the tone block on either side, towards the edge of the body and towards where the pickups and strings are. So before you do anything, first what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to make sure that the floating bridge is in the appropriate place. So you want to make sure that it's level. Now with the Floyd Rose and the edge, etc., it's going to be pretty much level with the body. With the low pro edge, you got to look towards the little black tabs on the inside because the bridge surface itself is slanted. So first what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to focus on the cavity towards the edge of the body. Using various guitar picks, you're going to try to find the correct combination of guitar picks, whatever you've got. I use like one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. You're gonna wanna find the right combination to fill the space. And you can kind of eyeball it here. So once you think you've got it right, you can kind of try to test it, put them in there, see how it goes. But not all the way, because you're gonna wanna tape them together so they won't fall apart. Once you've got that in, go ahead and put those in the space between the body and the tone block. Now, you'll know you've done it right when it's a snug fit and the tremolo is still level, so the bridge isn't tilted any specific way too far. Now that you've got that, it's time for the other side. Now you might have to remove the middle spring for this. Some bridges have a retaining bar over that that you can simply unscrew. So remove the middle spring if there's no space to fit guitar picks in. And the operation is going to be the same as the other side. Get a bunch of guitar picks and try to estimate the correct width. Once you think you've got it, try them out tape them together, put them in. While you're in the spring cavity, you can also take some tissues and put them behind the remaining springs to mute them. This is in case you're playing under high gain. Now that you've got that all sorted out, check that the bridge is still level. If it's a bit funky, just take out some picks, try different combinations. It usually takes me about two or three tries to get this right. And once they're done, you can optionally put the back plate back on. And that's it. Your bridge should be stuck in place now. Feel free to tune up, adjust your intonation, lock down the nut, don't lock the nut, whatever you want. You now have a perfectly solid instrument where the strings won't be slipping because they'll be locked in two places. So there you have it. Do you have any questions? Do you need anything clarified? Any concerns? Maybe you have ideas for other quick tutorials? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share it with the world, print out every frame and mail it, and peace.